Death Note is the adaptation of uh, an anime and manga of the same name. And uh, just to begin with, I am a fan of the series Death Note, the anime series. However, you know, it's so many, it's a very long series, there's so many twists and turns, and like, at one point, something big happens in the series, and after that, it just isn't as good. But as a whole, it's a great anime series. And, uh, you know, I can see there have been other uh, um, adaptations, and it's just it's a tough thing to make into a movie, because it is um, a long series. There's like, a lot of episodes, and a lot of twists and turns that... You know, if you're making a movie, you have to look at it and pull things you want from the series. You can't do everything. But for this American Netflix uh, adaptation, they really just took the names of the people, the idea of the Death Note, and they just brought it over and created everything else themselves. The Death God? Yes. What exactly can I do with this Death Note? Put your name down and see what happens. It's not gonna solve a few crimes. It's gonna solve all crime. So this was directed by uh, Adam Wingard, and mainly stars uh, Nat Wolf as Light Turner, and the late Keith Steinfeld as L, and uh, Margaret uh, Qualley as uh, Mia Sutton. And uh, the biggest problem with the film is that Mia Sutton person, because she was not in, in the anime series, and it's not that, I mean, you know, you know, be like, uh, the movie, it's not, doesn't have to be exactly like the anime, but they completely changed the character of Light. Because, I mean, even the, this actor is not good, but, I mean, and they have, you know, that he's now white, and he has this really stupid hair, but, you know, fine. The biggest problem is that they changed who the character is, like his... In the, in the anime, he is a sociopath. He is a psychopath. He um, has no, almost no emotion, no feelings, except for um, not wanting himself to be caught. Like, he did not have a relationship with anyone. Like, there are some girls that come up later and they kind of love him, but he really just wants to use them and figure out a way that some people that they can't really kill because there's other stuff going on. But, I mean, to have him, almost like he does, like, Almost immediately, he uh, shows a book to this girl, and then they become a team. And even oddly, like some stuff later on, the, instead of Light being kind of evil, even though he's the main character, all of the more evil stuff is done by the girl. And it's like it's almost like they split his Light's character into two. And like all the stuff that he did in the anime, they have they they put the more bad things on the girl, so that maybe they want him to be more of a hero, so he only kills bad people, and it just it loses the whole feel of the anime, the feel of that character, because I mean like yeah he's killing all the bad people, but he really he wants to create his own kingdom, and it was him as the god, and him as like he's a genius, he's like an amazing genius, and he's amazing at sports like he's like the best at everything he tries like he is the, the best at everything and then i understand like they bring in l l the guy who played l was pretty good for the most part until he just got really angry and was chasing light all over the place which is really stupid but you know, i think really he's probably an L's, l's character in the anime is like the best part of the anime and but the, i loved you know in the anime how they kind of fought each other, Light and L. Like, because um, L almost immediately knows that it's Light, but there's no way to prove it. And he he, to, he has to prove it, you know, that he's right. And there's all this, they, they, each of them try to trick the other, and they try to do elaborate schemes, and then Light, you know, try to show, like, how it's impossible to be me. And there's so many cool things with that. And I think if you're going to make a movie, you should focus on the relationship between Light and L. And they do that for a little bit of it, but then it just goes off the rails again. And they, every time, like all the time they spent with the relationship, which is just like a high school sort of uh, bad romance. Like this, it's not an interesting relationship, but they, they focus so much time on that. I wish they would have completely cut the woman character out and just had him interacting with uh, Elle the whole movie. It would have been so much better. 
And if you want to do, like, a slight romance character, why not take a character from the anime, like the one that's, uh, you know, a pop star that also has one of the death demons and has a death note. But she um, took the offer to uh, cut her life in half. She can see the name of people above their heads. And, you know, that's how there's a big thing that you know, she, he, like, kind of uses her to try to go after L because no one knows his true name. And there's a lot of cool stuff with that, you know, because the, um, the, the death demon that she has kind of loves her and wants to protect her. And again, the, for this one, the death demon, Ryuk, played by Willem Dafoe, like, he's okay, but I almost feel like they didn't want to show too much or they didn't want to have him following them all around all the place because they didn't want to waste money on CG. So they used him sparingly. And he's more of this, like, aloof and kind of evil. And I love him in, in the anime, like, I keep, I keep saying in the anime, but in the anime, like, he was just kind of following him around all the place and talking to him. And there's a lot of cool stuff where, like, he was kind of, um, he was funny. Like, he was almost like the comedic relief in a lot of the, the story, the episodes. And, like, he helped him. He wanted to help Light to kill a, a bunch of people. And there's a lot of cool stuff with that character. They didn't really do anything with in this. But still, there are some moments I liked. But, like, I mean, this really brutal. Like, it's surprisingly brutal, some of the scenes, the death scenes. It's almost like a Final Destination kind of style. But it's even really more brutal. And I like the, you know, it's really cool, but they never really, really do anything with it. And the biggest problem with the film, like, even as a film, it doesn't have an arc for the characters. And they don't have, like, uh, uh, anything they really do, but, like, he, you know, feels he's in the right all the time. And then the girl does bad things, and he has to go against the girl. Like, they never do anything with him, with his character. There's no, there's no arc for him, for Light. And it's just, I don't know, it's not great. And then they even end, like, on a cliffhanger. Like, they wanted to make a sequel to this. Like, why not end this more strongly? The worst part of the film, though, is definitely right at the climax of the film, when a lot of stuff is going down, they, the movie uh, goes into ultra-slow motion, and this really loud song pops up. Like, it's, this bad song that's really corny and meant to signify what they're, what's going on with them. And it's like, it's so out of place. Like, I watched this and I was like, I started laughing and I was like, what, what the hell are they doing? Why would you do that? Like, it feels so weird. It feels like some of those horrible scenes from the 90s and crappy movies where like the, the music comes on and it's just so odd. And they do it again a little bit later when he's like revealing how he did things like they play the music, loud music again. It feels they never did it throughout the rest of the movie. It feels so out of place. Like it's really not a good movie. Like I mean, if I can't uh, recommend it to anyone. Like if you're a fan of the anime, you'll probably hate this even more. And if you've never even heard of the anime, I don't know if you'd like this. I mean, there's some parts of it that are enjoyable, but overall, it's a bad movie. Like I give it like a five out of ten. Like I definitely wouldn't recommend it. But well, thanks for watching. Check out my other review plays around my head. Subscribe to me over here. Thanks.